Welcome back to a brand new episode of GC360, recorded right here in our Garden City, New York Media Studios. I'm your host, Victoria, and today my lovely co-host, Erica, is off. On this show, we chat about everything from breaking news going on in Garden City to relationships, finance, sports, education, and we cover it all. This episode is brought to you by Alliance Services, helping older adults to continue to live well and independent. In the studio today, I'm very excited to let you all meet my special guest, Chris Martocci, also known as the Garden City Real Estate Guy. Chris is a real estate agent with Coach Realtors, which is located right here in Garden City. Today, he's gonna to be giving us some tips on buying and selling your house here in Garden City. So Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of very course, happy to be here. of course. So Chris, tell us a little bit about your, your job in real estate. So you know, obviously, like, like you said, I'm a real estate agent with uh, Coach Realtors, Realtors right on 7th Street, right here in Garden City. Wow. Um, not all my work is in Garden City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really specialize, I would say, Central Nassau. Um, so Na uh, Floral Park, New Hyde Park, Garden City. Nassau County. Nassau County. Got it. Yeah. So what makes the Garden City real estate market so unique? So what I find you know, really amazing about the mm -hmm. Garden City market is just the wide range in prices. So you could have a house on the low end in the 600s, and towards the high end, more towards $4 million. Wow, that's so a that's big a, jump. Really big. Oh my god. So there's a lot of different markets for people in different price ranges, which is which is great as well. That is great. Yeah. Now earlier off camera, we were talking about subsections. Mm -hmm. What is subsections in real estate? So especially when it comes to Garden City, mm -hmm. uh, there are about eight to 10 subsections all within that are fall within the four main sections. So there's the Eastern section, the Western section, uh, the estate section and the central section mm -hmm. and within each one of those you'll have a subsection that has a unique little attribute to it so there's really a lot to know with the garden city market wow so there's a lot of history in garden city real estate sounds Definitely. like wow yeah. so what trends are you seeing most in new home buyers and what advice would you give them so the big trend right now across the country really mm -hmm. is that millennials are the biggest group of home buyers uh, over five million millennials are turning 30 this year wow. which is really a prime age to be a first-time home buyer. Uh, the tips that I would give them is number one, they need to get educated on the market. And the best way to do that is to hire a local real estate agent who focuses on that area. And I would say also hire a real estate agent that you can relate to because they're going to understand your needs. Uh, in addition to that, when it comes to Garden City specifically, uh, it, you need to understand that it's a competitive market. And it sounds like it's really competitive, yeah. Absolutely. People are always paying attention and you could be competing with people that aren't necessarily just putting down 20%. Sometimes a down payment could be 50% or sometimes even more. So wow. definitely competitive. That's crazy. Now, what about people selling their home? Is this a good time to do it? And what advice would you give them? Uh, this is definitely a great time to sell a house. The market is very strong. Uh, economics behind it between mortgage rates, mm -hmm. uh, employment rates, and inventory are all strong. So definitely a great time to sell. Uh, the first thing that I tell my home sellers is to get in the right state of mind emotionally. Oh wow, that's interesting. The day that you decide to list your house is the day that it's no longer yours. Um, and a lot of people have a difficult time doing that. The second thing I would say is to start depersonalizing and decluttering. It's easy to accumulate things over the years, mm -hmm. but when you have new home buyers coming in, they wanna be able to picture that house being theirs. See themselves living Absolutely. in it. Absolutely, so you wanna make it easier for them to do that. Wow. And in certain circumstances, I'll maybe recommend you know, maybe a fresh coat of paint, some light, Little like, sprucer ups, exactly. little things. Just a little fresh. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Chris. How thank can you. our audience get in contact with you? So the best way to get in touch with me is to go to my website. It's gcrealestateguy.com. And you could also just give me a call or send me a text. It's 516-535-9755. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of GC360, recorded right here in our Garden City, New York Media Studios. I'm your host, Victoria, and we'll see you next time. Interested in sponsoring an episode of GC360? Just email us at info at gcnym.com. <laughs>